Rockies hosting the Dodgers, and the Dodgers are minus 275 on the money line. The Rockies are plus 220. The over-under is 11 runs. The Dodgers laying two and a half runs are minus 125, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, they'd have to win by three runs or more. Let me switch over to a different sports book because I think that that's a little ridiculous that they're not showing what the Dodgers are laying a run and a half. The Dodgers laying a run and a half are minus 176, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Rockies getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 148, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. Now, when I read the stats, because that's all people complain that I do is just read the stats, it'll explain why the odds are the way that they are, because, you know, they just magically make these things up for no reason. Yamamoto has pitched twice against the Rockies this year. Three innings, four runs, four earned. They won 6-5. He struck out four. Six innings, one run, one earned. They won 4-1. He struck out seven. Senzantella pitched once against the Dodgers this year. Five innings, one run, one earned. They lost 6-5. That was in L.A., and he struck out two. And the weather for this game is supposed to be 84 degrees, 9-mile-an-hour winds blowing out, and no rain. So that's only better for the Dodgers' bats. And... It looks like we won't have a 100-win baseball team this year. No one can finish with that record. Although the Dodgers are two games up, and if they keep winning, they're going to end up with home field advantage, provided that they make it to the World Series, which it looks like they very well may. That, uh, yeah, it's going to go through L.A. Head-to-head, -head, the Dodgers are 8-2. and two. The Dodgers are on a two-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4. and four. The favorite is 8-2 eight, uh, eight on the money line. The favorite has won the last two games they've played against each other. The favorite winning by multiple runs, laying a run and a half, is 7-3. and three. So meaning when they win, they win by at least two runs. The over is hitting their last two. The over is 6-3-1. and one. And the under is 5-4-1. and one. And I believe I said there's only been two one-run games in their last 10. Most of the other games have been decided by three runs or more. There's only been three games in their last 10 that have been decided by two runs or fewer. The Dodgers did not confirm Yamamoto yet, so in his last handful of appearances, five innings pitched, 5.7 strikeouts, 15.3 outs recorded, four and a half hits, 1.4 walks, 1.8 runs, 1.7 of which were earned, 0.3 home runs, 82.6 pitches per game, 16.8 pitches per inning. His last outing was against the Rockies, which was his first start back in several months. And then when we flip it over to Senzantella, in his two starts this year, the last one that he pitched in was against the Dodgers. Four innings pitched, two strikeouts, 12 outs recorded, four and a half hits, two walks, 1.5 earned runs, one home run per game, 70 pitches per game, 18.5 pitches per inning, which would explain why the Dodgers are such a heavy favorite. The Dodgers are 7-3 and three in their last 10, 4-1 and one in their last 5, 6 runs, 7 runs, 9 runs, 15 runs, 2 runs and a loss, 4 runs and a win, 7 runs and a win, 11 runs and a win. For the Rockies, 1-4 and four in their last 5, 10 runs, 7 runs, 18 runs, 15 runs, 3 runs and a loss, 2 runs and a loss, 10 runs and a win, 4 runs and a loss. Dodgers with the money line, Dodgers laying the runs and the over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.